What's good, y'all, boy? I'm back with another video. And in this video here, we're gonna keep it straight to the point. This video here, I'm gonna show you how, to, I'm gonna show y'all how to take apart a katana. And oh, then this okay, video gets two, two likes, I'll show y'all how I clean my katanas after I get done slicing something, you feel me? So, what we about to do here, I already, I got one kit up here so y'all can see it, because I already got the other stuff out of my Hattori Hanzo kit. But this is my Musashi Sword Maintenance Kit. And in this kit here, they give you the, the Uchiko, they give you the Mekugi Naki, which this is for knocking out the wood pieces on the handle. The Uchiko is for, I'm probably saying this so wrong, so yeah. But this is for getting the oil off of the blade. They give me some more Mekugi, aka wood stoppers, to put back in the blade if the other ones got damaged. And then they give you some blade oil. And, not done, they give you a little blue cloth to wipe down the blade with. I already have one out right here. So, like I said, I'm just gonna be taking this sword apart, showing y'all how to do it, and yeah. Hit the like and subscribe, I'm trying to get the 5K subscribers. Like I said, I get the 5K subscribers, I'm gonna learn Tondro's backflip with the sword, and yeah. So, let's get it. First things first, what we're going to do. Oh yeah, y'all probably see my paper with chicken scratch on it. It's cause I have a bad memory, so I gotta write down like the names of what's on the sword so I don't get it wrong. You feel me? Cause I will forget. But first thing, first thing that we're gonna do right here is we are going to get the wood pieces. One, two, we're gonna get those off. So basically what you would do with that is, you see the Mekugi Naki? You wanna screw it up top right here. And it's like a little nail and it's really like a little hammer. So you'll go to it. Okay, so I'll say this, you know, these are good katanas cause this motherfucker really in here. Oh my God. A few moments later. Okay, so I had to switch that up because y'all saw the Rengoku sword. Yeah, that, that was not coming out. Those are in their type and I'm not trying to mess the sword up. So I grabbed my, honestly, one of my very first full tank swords. This is my Wado Ichi Manji. Y'all can see by the handle, this sword has been used. This shit is dirty. This shit has been used. That's why y'all don't see it in videos anymore. And the blade, the blade is all messed up because this is, I'll say this is when I was ignorant with the sword, you feel me? Cause I was not properly doing what I needed to do. So yeah, I'm gonna just show y'all what to do with this sword. Same thing with the Rengoku sword. So let's get it. Hopefully this one works out better. All right. One. Let's see it. One. Now let's get the second one. Two. Second one, right here. All right. So, after that, you would essentially just hit the sword handle so that, I'll show y'all. Make sure to screw this back too, so you don't so you don't lose it. And I also got these sword kits off of Etsy as well. I just typed in sword maintenance kits and those popped up. So now, it has nothing, it has nothing to stop the blade. So what we're gonna do is, the hell was that? What the fuck just, okay, there we go. It's just stuck. What is that? I think, did they glue this? As y'all can see, like right here. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I don't know what that is. It's like they glued it. You feel me? That don't, that don't make sense to me. Like, it's still a, it's a full tang sword, but maybe just because it's an anime sword, but I'm not trying to be too, like, aggressive with this because I want it to get messed up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Okay. So, we have the handle off now. You feel me? This is how the blade, so far, you feel me? This is the tang, this is the tang. You see the two holes right here, this is the tang that I always be saying in the in my freaking video, like, oh, it's full tang, you feel me? But now we're gonna take off what is under the katana, as you can see. You see this, 
This is the Seppa. This is the stop, the Suba, aka the guard. And we have another Seppa up top, and then we have the Habaki. So what we're so what we're about to do is just take off each layer. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they glued this. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Why would y'all glue it? You know what I mean? Because it's always good to take apart your swords. And I'm going to give y'all a fun fact. This is the first time I actually took apart one of my swords. You feel me? So, hey. <laughs> first line for everything. But, oh, God. Come on, man. Why'd y'all put glue on this joint, bro? What is this? All right. We have the first step off. Right there. I'm going to put that right there. Now we're gonna get the guard off. Come on, come on. I know that glue is freaking on there, but come on. Oh, uh, I know they put glue on the Hibaki as well. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they did. Uh, come on, come on. Got it, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. This is the guard. The guard is cool, I'm not gonna lie. But as y'all can see, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they put glue on it, as y'all can see. See what? I don't know, that kind of, uh, uh, I don't know. Usually when I saw, when when I watched a video on how somebody took apart a katana, there was no glue on their joint, but it's all good, it's all good. We're gonna get the second sepa off right here. Gotta, just gotta wiggle them down. Just gotta wiggle them down. Come on. All right. Second step off. And then now we're gonna take out the habaki. And the habaki is basically what floats the the blade. Put it down. How do I... Okay. I like how the habaki was the easiest one to get off. So y'all can see they did glue it, but they glued this one side right here. So I'm gonna take this off. But this is the this this is the habaki. Put this right here. And this is what the katana looks like before it's put together. Just the blade, you feel me? Like, hold on. Get off, there we go, there we go. Yeah. Just the blade to it. You feel me? And yeah, so now. Y'all see how to put so y'all see how to take apart a katana. Now we're about to put it back together. Let's get it. And you see how you can relatively just slide everything on type shit. Then after that, go for the sepa. Second sepa. And don't forget, both sepas are to hold the guard in place. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Okay, now the super. They can hit a handle. This one. I just gotta beat it in, I guess. All right, that's one in, and he in, and he in this dirty too. That's the other one. Ugh. <sighs> 
there we go. Who? Oh, dang. Yo, y'all want to know something crazy? I haven't been using this sword like this. It's because it felt loose. It felt loose, especially right here. It felt real loose when I would use it. Just had my Sonami sword. That's why I haven't been using my Sonami sword. And since I took it apart and put it back together, this sword doesn't... Oh, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel loose anymore. So, y'all gonna see more, more videos with my Zoro Waru Ichimanji. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope this helped y'all if y'all have a katana. And yeah, you know, on how to take apart your katana. If, like I said, if this gets to 20 likes, I'm gonna drop how to, well, how I clean my katana. And I'm gonna still take it apart and how I just clean the full katana after I cut something. So, hey, hit that like and subscribe. Y'all boy be easy.